We hope you enjoyed last week's episode. But that is a thing of the past. Let's focus on today's episode. This week, we will be doing announcements, sports, lunch interviews with Hannah Monroe, a special message in place of Principal's Corner, as well as a story this week. Let's go straight into the announcements. We have homecoming this Saturday. Make sure to purchase your ticket for $10 or $15 at the door. Give a huge congratulations to our JROTC program after competing in a competition this past week as they did very well. They aren't the only organization that did well as our debate team had a great showing this past week at one of their tournaments. They even finished first. And finally, make sure you show up to tonight's homecoming game. Now that we're done with announcements, let's move on to sports. Last Friday, Grizzlies football competed against Topeka in a non-conference game, blowing them out the water with a win of 70 to seven. Way to go, Grizzlies football. Our next game is today against 1-4 South High. The theme is pink out to support breast cancer awareness. October 10th is our last conference home game for volleyball. This will be against second ranked Bishop Carroll and third ranked Cape and Mount Carmel. Let's make sure that we pack the den and support our Grizzly volleyball. Tennis had a city league placement at WSU last Saturday where they placed third overall. They will have their regional game this Saturday. Let's wish our Grizzly tennis good luck. Now over to a special short film about a special topic. Hey man, we don't really even do anything in ninth hour anyway. Why don't we just skip? You know what? I think you're right. Let's get out of here. Man, I'm so happy we skipped ninth hour. Me too, I can't wait to do anything. I hate that class. It feels like we're never doing anything in there. For real. Ah, young ones. I am the ghost of Northwest Present. Today I'm gonna to show you why you shouldn't be skipping ninth hour. Let's take a look. Oh man, I got an F on my last assignment. If only I would've went to freaking ninth hour to get my papers dealt with. Call from mom, let me see what's up. Hey mom, what? I can't go to Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday because I had an F on my assignment? Man, that's not cool. Oh man. Okay, bye mom. Oh man. So as you can see, our young one wasn't able to go to Chuck E. Cheese for his birthday, something he's been looking forward to for a very long time. So now you can see the importance of making up that test in ninth hour. So go to ninth hour. Now that you guys know about why it's important to not skip ninth hour, what have we learned? It can have bad consequences. It can ruin your education. My young ones, I am the ghost of Northwest Future, and I am here to warn you about skipping ninth hour. Is this where our budget goes? Yes. What? Don't skip ninth hour. It will lead you down a perilous path. Now let me show you. Come on. Man, I can't wait to go to Quit Trip. Yeah. Can't wait to give me a slushy. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. And see, all our young one wanted was a slushy. Help me. Not now. But what we ended up with instead was a slushy on the side of the road. So don't skip ninth hour. Do the right thing. And now that you guys have seen the dangers of skipping ninth hour, I hope you can consider the following. Don't do it. What are your thoughts? It all I'm, makes sense now. I'm never skipping ninth hour ever again. That's Good. it. Good. Yeah. You. What are you doing, my young one? I'll never skip again. Good. We have learned a valuable lesson today. Don't skip ninth hour. Just go to class. I endorse this message. We had an amazing spirit week last week. The themes were PJ Day, Meme Day, Barbecue Dad versus Soccer Mom, Style Swap Day, and finally, Barbie Day. And here are some of our favorite pictures. I'm Miss Bueller. Okay, hi Lou. And what is Young Life? It's just really a community for students to get together, um, to build relationships with teachers and other students, and to find hope. How can people get involved? I can get them a pass to come to one of our um, lunch meetings, but um, the best way is to get in contact with me. When is the next meeting? 
So our next meeting is October 10th. So um, that event is gonna be our pizza fellowships. And what that basically is, is come to my room, we have pizza during lunch and I get out all of my fun games. And so it's really just kind of a time to build that positive community and get together. And then the second uh, meeting is our Bible study. And that's really like the hope component of Young Life. What do you do in, I mean, what's the activities that you do? We have our pizza fellowship and then our Bible study. We also have fun outside of um, school activities. So we had a volleyball tournament last Monday. We also had a movie night on Tuesday, watch Princess Bride. So um, we have fun events like that, you know, continuing to build that positive community. What do you think it is to you? I have a chance for me to grow my faith and help lead others and theirs. Uh, I'm Nevaeh Carter, I'm a junior. Okay. What is Young Life to you? A student-led, um, faith-based organization, just trying to uh, help a lot of the young people get closer to Jesus. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in to next week's video. And also make sure to check out our Instagram. Have, Have a great weekend, Grizzlies!